Now, let me ask you this. Your first time mm -hmm. performing at the main room at the famous comedy uh -huh. store was a breakthrough career moment for you, man. Do you remember, what, what do you remember most about that? Well, I remember, first of all, I was catching three buses every day here in LA and then going to the comedy clubs every single night, going to the comedy store, not being able to get on stage for like three years. Then finally the owner called me and said, hey, we got a spot for you in the main room. Friday and Saturday show, you got two shows a night. You are after Eddie Murphy and before Richard Pryor and before Richard Pryor and after Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and that's a weight. And man. let me tell you, I was ready. <laughs> I was ready. I was ready. I was ready because my mother, she, my mother sent me twenty dollars in the mail. She, she said, she said, first of all, I know you need it, and then second of all, she said, don't go home. No matter what you do, don't go home. You know. And I did those shows, and I mean, I killed. Those shows so good, man, that, that whole weekend. And, and finally, I, I was in a little closet, and I'll never forget this. Richard Pryor had never met me before. Richard Pryor walks to the closet, and he looks me over, and he goes, You's a funny man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I called my mom, you know? I called my mom on the, on the phone, and I told her the story. She said, I told you not to go home. Yeah. Just keep on going. Yeah. And that's, that's where it kind of went up from there. That's what it is. Yeah. Hey, listen, it's your man, Steve Harvey. You know, uh, we could go on like this forever. I mean, literally, just press that subscribe button or click on this list and keep on watching. Man, it's me. Come on, join right now. Do it. What you waiting on?